there's really nothing else that sounds like a louder filter. It has so many characteristics that are very musical and work well. There really still to this day is no other simple, elegant, good sounding way to create the sound. Bob had to solve a lot of problems that hadn't been solved before in designing early synthesizers. He needed a filter that was voltage controllable and the reason it needed to be voltage controllable was because we had to be able to change the sound based on parameters, whether it was the envelope of the sound or a particular frequency. It's really the heart of subtractive synthesis, which is the Moog sound. Traditionally, very simple filters were composed of strings of resistors and capacitors, and that made a that made a simple filter, but there was no way to easily control that. There were much more complicated filters that allowed the control that was needed to make a musical filter but they weren't simple. And what Bob did was use the newly invented transistors, or fairly recently invented transistors, to simulate that resistor and the resistor capacitor. And so by simply replacing a resistor with a capacitor, he created a filter that met all the objectives he was trying to achieve without the complexity of many stages of buffering and op amps. It had a wide range of control. It could be a high pass filter. It could be a low pass filter. It could create resonance. It had a very musical roll off and cue, and it connects to people and if you want any better proof of how the ladder filter connects is watch a five-year-old child walk up to a mini Moog and grab that knob and tune it and watch their eyes because here's a five-year-old child connecting with that filter and that one knob and they hear something that to them is amazing they have no other preconceived ideas of music or what this should be they just know it makes them feel well when Herb and Bob sat down figured out what a synthesizer was going to be in 1964 the ladder filter was just one of many voltage control modules, but everything was brand new back then. I believe the ladder filter was invented around 1965. It was presented to, for a patent in 1966. It didn't get a patent until 1969, but we know that he was using it in 64, 65 in that range. Bob always called himself a tool maker, and so here he was laying out the tools in all the forms, whether it was the oscillators or the ladder filters that we're talking about today for people to create and people to have what they needed. You can't put a nail in a two by four with a banana. And if you're trying to build a house, a banana is not going to get you there. You may envision that house, but you need a hammer. And whether these musicians knew that the hammer they needed was a 24 dB per octave ladder filter, they may not know, but it gave them the tool they needed to create the sounds that they had in their head and the things they wanted and the music that we know today. That came through that filter. The ladder filter is important because the ladder filter is the heart and soul of the Moog sound, and the Moog sound is the heart and soul of music from the 60s to the present, from rock and roll to prog rock to R&B to electronic music to country music. To the, there's nobody making great music today that doesn't have that sound somewhere, and that sound is the ladder filter. I very much appreciate what Bob did all those years ago. There's something magical in that sound that makes people want to tattoo it on their arms, that makes them be passionate about it, that makes them talk about it all the time, that makes people on the street come up and talk to me about my t-shirt and talk about Bob. The ladder filter is one thing that he did, but he took those philosophies to everything else he did. And I have the privilege and honor of being able to read Bob's notes all the time. And when I do a design, I'll go find notes that had something to do with that. And I see that spirit and that creativity that went into the ladder filter and everything he did. Finding simple and elegant ways to create sound, to create, to solve a problem, and it's, it's in everything he does. 